Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Elegant Corner. In this video, we will discuss about the second year first semester civil engineering subjects. See, before starting the video, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe our channel Elegant Corner. See, uh, because of the pandemic situations and lockdown and all, few classes were held in the online and few people were didn't got up to the extent. So, for that point of view, if you have a clear cut view upon the subject, if you have an ideology about the subject, this subject is referring this. This subject is relating to this topic. This subject is explaining this particular parameters and all. Then you can easily prepare for the examination point of view. We are getting the mid exams or the semester exams closer. See whether it may be autonomous institutions or whether it may be JNTUK under colleges. These are the few syllabus structure where we'll have as a common subjects in the second year first semester. Now we'll discuss one by one what were the subjects and what are the main applications of the subject. We'll see the summary like uh, what is the basic motto of the subject and all. We'll start with the first uh, applied applications of uh, PD, partial differential equations and complex variable. See the main motto of this mathematical part or max in the first uh, as a first subject in the second year first semester is all about while going to the in-depth part of the four subjects whether it may be fluid mechanics or uh, like study of elasticity and all say we can we will see the some applications of the partial differential equation so for that purpose in the core subjects to analyze the various uh, like uh, derivations and all if you have a touch in the partial differential equations or uh, if you see the connectivity between the complex variable and all so it, we can easily crack the coming subjects so as a basic uh, we will get a uh, like applications of a partial differential equations and uh, what are the relationship between the complex variable like complex analysis and all coming to the next subject it is all about the strength of materials one here we, it is totally about uh, like load inducing upon a particular member of where the particular material was uh, losing its ability or capacity of load and we'll see uh, various types of beams and various types of loads are acting upon the beam beam elements and we'll see the various failure conditions uh, uh, we'll see the shear force and bending moment uh, upon the particular members where the load was inducing the strength of materials is all about the core of the civil engineering uh, we'll see all these kind of parameters which was totally related to the load acting upon a particular member selected member coming to the next subject environmental engineering this is all about the water uh, we'll discuss what are the various uh, uh, supply and demand of the water and what are the diseases caused due to the contaminated water we'll see the water supply and then we'll see the like wastewater disposal how we will design the uh, wastewater disposal like uh, oxidation pond we'll see various tests carried for the wastewater and we'll see the sludge management and all this is all about the like water management in the environment which was available uh, in for us so if we are referring this subject we'll get an ideology regarding this all parameters uh, which we discussed now coming to the construction materials and management here we'll get an introduction introduction part of each and every material which was used in the construction part like bricks stones wood uh, and we'll study the properties of each and every materials and we'll see the application at last we'll see the like what are the various equipments used in the construction part and also we'll see the like uh, schedule of the project like a uh, project cycle uh, like uh, how the project will be started uh, the project is nothing but uh, like uh, civil engineering construction like uh, how we'll schedule the project what are the various steps in the project management and all uh, as a slight introduction we'll see in this uh, construction materials and, and management coming to the surveying and geomatics uh, this is uh, this all about the measuring of uh, any particular area before construction we used to do the measurement of the area we used to do the surveying part so like uh, measuring the distances between the two points like uh, measuring the area or dividing it into various parts and measuring getting the like area of like information about the area or uh, using various uh, uh, equipment which was available in the civil engineering point of view like the yard like uh, like total station this kind of all information will be related to the surveying part uh, before construction we are all the people who used to listen the word surveying see before the construction the surveying is one of the foremost important thing to do the constructions 
so in this subject while referring to this uh, surveying and geomatics uh, we'll see totally entire what are the contours what are the curves uh, how we used to measure the distance between what are the various equipments uh, available uh, what are the latest uh, techniques used in the surveying part and all we'll discuss in this subject coming to the fluid mechanics uh, this is one of the uh, important subject where we'll deal up with the like properties of various fluids each and every fluid whatever the industry may be or whatever the part in our general life we used to use the fluid we here in the subject we learn uh, the various properties of the fluid like uh, how the fluid used to pass what are the various flows of the fluid how the what is the viscosity of the fluid these kind of information will be provided we used to study in the like fluid mechanics and all if you have any doubts regarding any subject particular subject we'll analyze in the coming videos we'll see the brief uh, like summary of the syllabus and we'll discuss each and every unit outline if you have any doubts regarding the subject you just please comment in the comment section and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe our channel elegant corner and please share it to with your friends uh, and if you have any doubts regarding any subjects you can comment below and i will take out the syllabus and i will explain you the what is summary of the syllabus and the pattern of the syllabus how it was interrelated to whatever the subject may be which was relating to the civil engineering point of view if you are new to the channel please do subscribe our channel elegant corner and signing off your side